Alright guys, this is the PMM recommended installation process for any Surefire shoulder ring that we sell on the website. It can be used with a variety of suppressors or muzzle devices. However, the installation protocol is roughly the same across the board. Generally speaking, what I do first is you're going to install the Surefire ring with a chamfered edge facing the muzzle device. The back edge here has a square shoulder and you want that on the factory shoulder of the barrel. Once that's on there, you take whatever muzzle device you're using, in this case it's a Surefire SFMB 762, and you hand snug it against the shoulder ring. What we're looking for here is orientation in relation to the 12 o'clock position on the barrel, the front tricycle. So, as you can see here, the Surefire logo is laser engraved at the 12 o'clock position on the muzzle device, and right now it's approximately 15 degrees off center of the 12 o'clock position on the front sight post. That's a good starting point. Because what this is going to allow you to do is put the suppressor on here, lock it down, hand tighten it, insert the guise of the alignment rod, hand tighten it even more, and then you can take it off and crank it on to a two 12 o'clock position. So after the initial installation, getting the timing correct, we're going to apply some of the supplied rock set that comes with an SFMB 762 or whatever aftermarket muzzle device you have. I usually put some on the thread as well as a teeny bit inside the muzzle device itself. And then what I'll do is go back to step one, and we're going to tighten this thing down by hand. Once that's tightened down by hand, take your suppressor, mount it onto whatever muzzle device you're using, like I said, this is an SFMB, and lock it on. Once that's locked on, you want to take your Geisley alignment rod, Travis went to swing around the back. And I want you to put it inside the bore here. Now, the reason we're doing this and you're going to even notice this is a factory threaded barrel from FN. See the amount of deflection in the threads? Regardless of what muzzle device you're using, you're always going to have them. So to mount the suppressor onto the muzzle device and tighten it down by hand, you can really assure a good starting point for how concentric the bore alignment rod is in, in relation to the can. So right now I have turn this with as much force as I physically can muster by hand. I'm now going to take the suppressor off of the, gun, uh, the muzzle device, leaving the alignment rod in. What you would do is you could take, uh, this is a three quarter inch box wrench here for the Surefire one. You can normally mount it here on this flat in between the two ports for the muzzle brake. But what I end up using here at PMM is I have some raw pieces of uh, stock that I've machined and I generally just go straight through the port there. And then I take a fork bar, in this case it's just a galvanized piece of pipe, right? And I put it on one side or the other. Now this process is somewhat critical because what I'm doing here is I'm pulling up on the muzzle device at the same time that I'm pushing down on this. And the reason being is I'm trying to equally distribute the load on the shoulder of the muzzle device onto the ring. And what that's going to in turn do, it's going to deform the, sh the shoulder of the barrel on the SCAR-17 a little bit because it's a softer material than what the shoulder ring in. So I'm going to go ahead and do this now. I 
that's my 12 o'clock position. Once again, referencing on the Surefire SFMB, the laser engraved logo in relation to the front sight post on the Scar 17 barrel. Now, I gotta check to make sure it's still concentric. You can sometimes get that deformation that occurs with the barrel, and it can cause run out. So I'm gonna simply mount the suppressor back onto the barrel with the alignment rod and push it out and flush it up. So this case, it looks like this one has a teeny bit of run out towards the bottom. Not uncommon, but with the flashlight here, we can see that even with that run out, it's completely acceptable and it's not going to result in a baffle strike. It's favoring the six o'clock position a little bit.